what's going on? In this episode, I'm going to take you through the process of bringing this 2004 Nissan Xterra back to life. I picked it up for about $1,100, and what's crazy is driving it home, the timing belt broke on it. So, I'm going to pretty much be fixing that. What's going on? This episode, we're going to be replacing a timing belt. This 3.3 Xterra. Got a water pump, timing belt and a couple of additional things. I think I'm gonna start with turning it around since I got some nice sunlight going on. The first generations of the exteriors are super reliable. They've been a real big part of my business traveling back in the day. It'd be all over New Orleans, Dallas, Houston, Pensacola, Florida, in between, all the way up to the West Coast. And I'm kind of glad this one kind of had this issue because I know exactly what to do. And I wouldn't want this to happen to the next person buying it. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. That and more. To get access to this timing belt, you pretty much got to remove the fan shroud, the radiator fan, the outer pulleys, and drain the coolant and a few more other things that are in the way. It's layers. All right, that's where I'm at. I removed all the pulleys and all the brackets that line up over here. That's That goes with the pulleys in the belt. The fan shroud is a two-piece situation so you can actually kind of go through this part right here and just pinch the little pry things off these right here and that'll help you get that fan shroud out along with the fan fans on there by four 10 millimeter bolts now for that crank bolt to remove that you're gonna need a lot of force but i didn't have a lot of force so i used smarts so this is what i did i got a 27 27 millimeter and I got a torque bar like that and I had it resting against this frame part of the car it's not really the frame it's like the body I hooked up the battery and I just I didn't hold the starter down I just blipped it in less than half a second try that method at your own risk sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't depend on where you're living all right now that we got it loose all right you have to remove this crank bolt just to get to the timing in general. And they have some timing cover bolts behind the crankshaft. All right, and to remove this crank pulley, you are going to need a tool like this. The jaw puller along with a 17 millimeter 3 8 bolt inside of that. That way I don't damage the threads. It's actually right on the base. Look at that water pump. Good thing that timing belt kit comes with a water pump also. So that's gonna be getting installed as well. Along with some camshaft seals, it's the water pump gasket, water pump itself. What is this? This is the timing belt tensioner. All right, now you gotta remove all the eight millimeter timing bolt covers and definitely make a note of where you go because some of them are different lengths. And now we're taking off this belt. Oof, look at that. Key's not shattered, so that's good. It's a really, really good sign. Time and bell snapped. Thankfully, this happened at a very low speed. With this being an interference engine, it's definitely possible to save it. I set everything to top dead center. Definitely see where it failed at. Just old age. All right, and that's it for now. I got the new water pump installed, timing belt set, top dead center, started it up. Started up great, couldn't leave it running too long because the transmission lines aren't hooked up, so it made a little mess. But so far, so good. Like I said, I actually used to have one of these SUVs. It was my first traveling mechanic car, so I definitely know my way around it. It's one of the best engines. You gotta really like exteriors to love this engine. It's not meant for speed, it's just a little billy goat. All right. Got the water pump installed, made sure all the bolts were torqued down. I rotated this crank by hand about four times just to make sure that the timing marks lined up and everything along with the distributor being that number one. This is number one right here. So, and also what I did to find top dead center, this is your number one cylinder right here. I removed the spark plug and I put a straw in there when I was rotating it just to verify that those timing marks were top dead center also. So. That straw should have came all the way up. All right now I'm just about to start adding all the layers back on there. 
the timing cover, the pulleys, make sure everything lines back up, triple checking the bolts. All right, so far we got the timing cover bolts on. Make sure that you use the right length ones, especially at that bottom, because if you don't use the right one at the bottom, you're gonna hear that shit on the back of the crankshaft. You're gonna try to figure out what that noise is. You're gonna have to take it all back down. So make sure you use the shortest bolt at the very bottom of the timing cover. Make sure you clean the threads up. All right, got the crank pulley on. Now you can start adding the other pulleys and go from there. All right, we got all the belts on, all the pulleys tightened, got the fan shroud on, both pieces. Just need to top off the cooling, but for now we're just gonna start it up. Just... Alright, now that we got the timing belt installed, all we have to do next is time this engine correctly. It has to be set right there, 10 degrees before top dead center. I hooked up this inductor cable to the number one spark plug wire, and I hooked up the line, the battery cables. Now what you do next for this engine in particular is start it up and then you're going to disconnect the lower air intake sensor that kind of puts it in diagnostic mode that way you're able to correctly set the timing just like that we are good to go good to go that was a pretty fun project once everything was finished i repainted this grill and gave it a nice little detail it came out pretty nice after spending only about $200 in parts, I was able to get it smoothly. And just 14 days later, I got it sold for $4,200. Nice. Finally finished and it's ready to go. New timing belt, new shocks, new tune-up, new water pump. Pretty much all for this episode. Thanks for watching.